and we are back online. Hi guys, this is ADC. Welcome back in my channel. Today is Ilfana's Day, the new X uh, release of this week. Is, is Ilfana is a new addition to the Tempus Guild. Very interesting, very uh, strange combination between um, a Tempus girl, in this case, and uh, an Avalonian. So that's a great, great thing to try in the arena. Here I am, Bronze Leaguer, <laughs> 1000 uh, points. I've never been so low in my entire Elden Arena life, I, I guess. So I'll wait for someone uh, of you to join me. It's a, it's a little bit later than usual. Usually I stream uh, around 12. Now it's uh, 40 minutes past um, 2 o'clock. So it's, uh, it's, it's a bit late, but I'm sorry guys. But Either this or no stream, so I, I guess that's uh, that's the best I can do. So let's see if someone is here. Nope, I am talking to myself as usual. <laughs> that's not a great thing. Anyway, I'll drink. So I've been so busy. I haven't haven't uh, eat. Uh, I haven't ate anymore. No, um, the correct phrase. Oh, I forgot. Sometimes the English language skips, and I forgot how to say things. I haven't, I haven't had uh, lunch yet. That's the correct phrase. So it's fun. Let's go buy her. So buy Ilfana. Oh, where is the selection? Level, level three here. You don't really own. Chosen among the ones that have been selected. Let me see. Oh, Sirmore, I don't have her, so open this booster, why not? I missed uh, a couple of cards, so I'm gonna collect them. I'll keep Sirmore, that's interesting. And Ilfana, okay, perfect. Here she is. Great skills, I really like those. Really, really like very technical card. We will talk about her in a minute. Let me see, have I missed some? No, this booster cannot make me progress any further, so I'm fine with it. Okay, so let's take a look. Oh, whilst someone will arrive, I'll select a team for Survival. I'm really bad at survival, so but anyway. Oh, Archmage Artrazil is always a good pick in survival. We need someone to synergize with him, so Kai's is best. Rakia, not so good, I think. Dolorean. Okay, then Flamara. I really like Flamara. Uh, back in the day, she was one of the best cards in the game. But Idris, I think it's a. You, in, in survival, you want to pick uh, synergic cards with your buffer if you have one. And then counter cards like Idris and Powerful Standalone. So I, I, Idris, I think it's better. And here, Silenia, of course, Powerful Standalone. So that's a good team for survival, but I will not play in it. So, someone is watching. YouTube says so, at least. So, let's talk about Ilfana. Now, um, as you can see, she is a combination between all the Avalonian traits and the most peculiar uh, Tempus uh, skill, Deja Vu. So she is the second hero in the arena to have Deja Vu in first skill, but pay attention, she's very, very dangerous, just because, uh, we'll resume our Tempus guild, here it is, the other one with, um, with Deja Vu in first skill was the announcer, and the announcer uh, was very interesting, but he, he can activate Deja Vu just one time. Now, um, Ilfana would not, so, it's not uh, so difficult for her to trigger two times Deja Vu and even three times if you are very, very lucky, of course. And that's something. Uh, if you played a bit of uh, Tempus, uh, you, you, you know how strong and how viable can be Deja Vu in first skill. It can really mess up. Uh, your opponent, since uh, he will need to, uh, he will need to calculate the correct order of the cards, and it's going to be very difficult for him to survive the uh, cross 
um, synergy between Deja Vu in the first skill and in Ferb skill with the Watchmaker, for example. So it, it's going to be tough. As for the seal go, okay, now uh, she has uh, Deja Vu in first skill, of course. Uh, Brave Fireball, that's interesting. So if she's higher than your opponent um, with the uh, damage, this Fireball will uh, be 750, and that's very strong. Powerful 750 for just red and yellow is so powerful. So we want her to be uh, above your opponent with uh, damage. So I think the best seal for her is the shield seal. We will see. And then she has a novel shock. She, if, okay, so if she is below your opponent, with uh, output, then she will deal a massive amount of shock. I still feel like the best one is shield for her, so I would go with this one. Yeah, so she has both noble and brave. That's maybe the first card to have both. That's very interesting. So the team is pretty much uh, already done. The Colossus, of course, we need the Eternal, that's for sure, Announcer, and the Watchmaker. And guys, I have high hopes for you, Fana. I think these five cards here can be the definitive Tempus uh, team. Yeah, I have really high expectation. Let's see. Oh, new, new look for the app. Choose my hero. So I will not start with uh, Ilfana nor the announcer, of course. I will start with Cronion, and Cronion is very strong against all these three, thanks to Backstab and Portal. So, can be very, very effective, of course. Maldorets was great back in the day. Now, not so much. Okay. Good roll. Single Backstab, but. Should be enough. Okay, he does not have a, a good roll. Double powder, it's not good. Yeah. An easy win, I guess. Very good. First win. Oh, look at that. Now the Eternal. Okay, now. The Eternal can definitely win against Armada, that's for sure. But, 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 I think the Announcer can also win and maybe deliver, hmm, and maybe deliver Powder to my, okay, that's perfect. A yellow, please? Come on, give me one. Ah, bad roll. Okay, now that's tough to win this one. Oh, but maybe, oh, he will hit just one time, so okay, I'm gonna win. That's fine. But I, unfortunately, I will not be able to, I wanted to deliver the powder keg to this guy and do something crazy with Ilfana and powder. Yeah. That's unfortunate, but I'm 2 0. So, last skill trigger is not so great, so I will go with the Eternal and probably win with him. Yeah. Okay, that's great. The Eternal is. <sighs> what can I say? He's so freaking strong. Yeah. Very strong. Easy win. I haven't played Ilfana yet. Tempus are so strong. In lower leagues, they are so dominant. Uh, new players cannot deal with them. They are perfect to climb, I, I guess. When I play Tempus, I uh, in lower leagues, I, at least since I'm not playing in Mass League, I haven't played in Mass League in a while, but I basically always win. Mars! Hi ADC, glad you stream for this card. Yeah, I could not miss her. She's so good, I think. Another pirate. Hmm. Seems like pirates are all over the place in Bronze League. Let's go with Cronion. 
Yeah, maybe I could spare Pocronium for later, but for the backstab, I don't care so much, to be honest. Okay, not a great roll. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if... Yeah, I should be able to win an, anyway. Yeah, thanks to the backstab, at least. Yeah. Okay, barely, but still. Okay, now. Last skill turns all reds into swords, so I really don't want to copy that with Rufana. So you need to, you, you need to calculate correctly if you want to play Deja Vu cards at their best. Now it's the time for Watchmaker. Hi bro, says Pablo. Hi man. Okay, shield. Shield, shield, shield. Let me see. What if I just go for... I wanted full red. I should have kept the blue. This way I'm gonna avoid the shield part. But I'm not sure I will win, honestly. Yeah. I won anyway. That's fine. Dragast is not a good card anymore. And Tempus are just so strong. And now it's the time for, for Ilfana. This first skill from Clementine is very strong to copy. Oh, give me the red please okay that's basically perfect okay okay she will activate that three times that's something okay I will not trigger the brave fireball but I will trigger the noble shock and that's more than enough to win very consistent very strong GG easy, let's go to the next one. Feel like with this team, <laughs> it's gonna be easy. Also, I really like the deja vu mechanics, so I'm I think I'm very good at playing it. So yeah. That's a good team. Mono zeal, of course, with no seals, and I'm very much shielded so now what should I do okay this spooker I don't want to copy him with Ilfana not one bit and I also don't want to trigger that many red activations since terror could be dangerous so let me see what I can do yeah, the best one would have would be would have been uh, the. Mm. Yeah, I will go with Cronium. Yeah. Maybe just swords. Just to have one single activation. Yeah, should be enough. Okay, he went for full terror. That could be a problem uh, for Ilfana, but especially for the Watchmaker. Fortunately, I will win. That's a good start. Now, I need to see my the Eternal. Yeah, oh, he has Archmage, so I will... Yeah, but wait. Last skill he activated was... Okay. Now, those two... <clears throat> Ilfana has Noble Shock. It can, can be interesting. So I will go with the, with the Eternal, trying to win another one, and then win with the, the Announcer or Ilfana. I don't think Watchmaker can win anymore. 60 Terror is too much, I think. But Ilfana has Shock, so... That's good. Okay, we have a solid chance here. We need another 
blue to buff Ilfana. Nope. That would have been interesting. Okay, we should be able to win. Yeah. Sorry, Car Caravan. That's another win for me. Okay, Nard. So, so many buffers, man. Superado. So many buffers. Too much. Let's go with Lufana. And that's what I wanted. Double shock. Yeah. Whoa, man. It's gonna be tough for Atrazil. <laughs> Very tough, guys. Yeah, Noble Shock, one, and then two, and then three. Very good, another three, oh, and let's go to the next one. Easy. This is what I'm talking about. Easy win. GG. Okay, choose my hero. Okay, that's mixed mixed team with Abigor. I expect some knee hunt maybe. I cannot start with the announcer nor Ilfana, so I will go with Kronia. They cannot start by themselves uh, since Deja Vu would do basically nothing and that's a waste. So you want to start with Kronion if you have both both of them in first hand. Okay, Kyrian. So I need to pay attention to the Forms. Hmm. Well, I also need to avoid his heal. So maybe. Okay, I will keep the yellow. Hope to. Oh! That's exactly what I wanted. Three hits, massive hits. I will avoid completely his heal and hit hard yeah very flexible chronion sorry okay white car i don't fear stench also life drain does not work very well with shield even though maybe most of the time this shield will be distracted, but you don't want to use life ray and um, sorry uh, shield on white cap. Okay, now what should I do? So his powerful death stare is crazy. Life drain is crazy good, so I will go with the eternal. Okay. Okay, but uh, maybe a, a blue. Come on. Nope. That's not a good roll. I still have a chance, but yeah, I wanted a dodge just to avoid this powerful death stare. Like that, yeah, he will probably beat me. Probably, yeah. Oh, what's okay? Yeah. Okay. GG. Watchmaker. We haven't had the occasion to really test these two Deja Vu heroes. They are very situational, but their real power... Now, Portal, Portal is great to copy with Deja Vu. Since she has Fireball, it's, <laughs> it's a nightmare for her. This is already won by the watchmaker. Anyway, uh, what I was saying is um, the just the fact that you have double deja vu the first skill is a great pressure on your opponent. You don't need oh the bells and again. Anyway, you don't even need uh, to to use use them to win. You just need to put pressure on them. Now, for example. He is fucked if he attacks with Abigor, so he needs to come at me with Kai's 
the malefic. That's interesting. Now, what's the best course of action here? Noble life brain. I think I'm gonna go with the announcer. And the red or or sword, sword is good. Now let's see. With a perfect roll, Kais can win this one. He does have a good roll. Okay, so he will win. Now it's up to Elfana. Hmm. Oh, maybe, oh, <laughs> uh, I overestimated, guys, he will not win, the announcer is too strong. Guys, another easy win, I'm sorry I didn't use Elfana, but they are just so strong. <laughs> this Tempus Legendary ADC Online, yes I am! And back with my my favorite guild of all time, Tempus. They are so freaking strong. So much, guys. I cannot tell you how strong they are. In good hands. And mine are good. Okay, so I will copy the Deja Vu, so that's not my first priority. I need blues to win. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect roll. Very impressive. He does not have a perfect roll. GG, man. Okay. Yeah, he won, but I delivered two powerful dodges. And those are very strong against Apophi and Jamena. Not so much against MC Electro, but the Watchmaker is strong against him. I guess. So, I need... Oh, I need Fireball though. Without that, I'm not so strong. Okay, that's a good one, but I need another one. No, I'm not... Hmm, he does not have a perfect roll, fortunately. And also he has a bad, bad, bad seal. On him, M Selector once craves for the damage seal. This way I can win, but it was just luck. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Oh, the first skill was interesting. So I will go with I think he's gonna come at me with Liberated Lander, so I wanna go with Ilfana to spare my dodges for later. Also, the Liberated Lander with Strength. Why the hell? Ugh, anyway, I will not, I will never understand that. Okay, Mage against Liberated Lander, of course. So I wanna keep the Noble Shocks, in, just in case he delivers powerful blows to me. I don't need this, this sword. Okay, perfect. Just because he has backstab. Okay, I'm gonna win this, and that's gonna be fine. Okay, backstab is good. The fireball will be strong, but not enough. Not enough to beat me. Not nearly enough to beat me. Yeah. Look at that. 3000 output. GG, easy. Okay, now I have dodge. That's good. Now, Apophi is the stronger one. Jamea is easy to counter with dodges. Also, my smite is a problem. Hmm. A runic spell breaker. Hmm. Heal. So I'm gonna go with Cronion here and focus on yellows. Okay. Another one. Come on. Another yellow. Perfect. 
I can keep this one. Let me see, blue frosted. Okay, I can keep this. It's fine. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. So he will heal, and I will win. GG easy again. It's too easy with this team. Too easy. I tell you. I'm sorry I'm not switching team, but um, as always, when we are talking about um, tempos, we don't have much um, choices. Just because this... Oh, Nudo! Oh, yeah! Ah, yeah, I will play... Oh, man! He has a great team here! Hi, man! I'm happy I could accept your challenge. Choose my hero. Well, I will go with the Eternal here. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Now, challenge work good. Yeah, oh, that's great. So I'm gonna accept all the challenges you throw at me. Now, go. Okay. Oh. Hmm. That's powerful, but also... Let me see. That's very powerful, but um, yeah, I cannot re-roll this one. If he happens to roll just one blue, he's done. Yeah, he does. He has a perfect roll, but mine is outstanding, so yeah. No way. Just too strong. Okay. First one is mine. Now, way now. Okay, so it's Malisha Synergy here. Malisha can be a problem for me. This terror and fireball combo is pretty strong against the announcer and the watchmaker. Also, she has shock. And she's might. So against Chrono she's strong. That's not a good situation at all. At all. She has shock, so if I go with the watchmaker. Fireball and terror. I still gonna go with Chronion even though it's dangerous, but okay. That's the role I wanted. Oh, bad luck for him. No smite. Without smite, he cannot win this matchup. He needed to roll at least two blues. But he does not have a Colossus, so that's fine. Yeah. Hey, Superman. Okay, two wins. And now. Powerful Shock was a great starter. Now he has counters with Cyranor, Cyranor. I think I'm gonna go to Widdelfana here. Deja Vu is gonna be strong, it's gonna be a powerful Shock 650, followed by a powerful Brave Fireball. So, very strong against Weyna and also against Cyranor, I guess. Not so much against Valentine, I need to really trigger two fireballs to win with her. Oh, but I can also... Yeah, but Shield Bash is dangerous, so... Let me see. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's a good one. Now, uh, a yellow is good, a red is blue, and uh, is good, and a blue is blue. It is good. Just this sword is bad, so... Okay, that's the best one. Yeah, I will definitely win this. Look at how strong is Il Ilfana in this spot. She's massive. Massive. These fireballs are very oppressive. If you manage to trigger the brave part, those are so strong. As I was saying, 
is four heroes here, Cronion, GG Man, um, Cronion, the announcer, the Eternal, and the Watchmaker are so strong, you cannot really uh, remove them from the team if you want to play uh, Tempus. So it's it's a matter of the fifth member if you want to play them. And I think Yofana is the perfect fifth member. It's better than Lord Tempus. Oh, even Lord Tempus has Deja Vu in first skill, but Lord Tempus is really tricky since he has double Deja Vu, so it's tough to use, even though I think it's a perfect, uh, powerful card. But I think Ilfana is better. This Brave Fireball and Shock are a good, 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 good combination. So, yeah. I think this may be the best Tempus team. So I'm gonna keep playing with it. If you have a request, let me know, but I want to play. Now, Berserker team. So we're gonna need the Spellbreaker from the Watchmaker. Lord Tempo is better than Yufana. I'm not sure. Uh, I accept your judgment. I think Lord Tempo is very strong, but I also think he's too, too situational, maybe. I think his Fana is maybe more reliable, not necessarily stronger. Lord Tempo can be quite strong, but I think I can trust more Ilfana's performance, and that's not something to uh, ignore. Reliability is very important in arena where dice are so important. Lord Tempus can go full shock and skip the jewelry. Yeah, he can, but he does not have that fireball. Uh, Ilfana is crazy powerful against multi hits, so I don't know. I don't. I am not saying she is better than Lord Tempus. I, I'm not sure. I say she can be more reliable, and I like this. And has one to plant too far before using it. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling good with her in the team. Better than with Lord Tempus, but I. I'm also very rusty, so I'm not competing at higher levels anymore, so maybe, maybe. Okay, now, hmm, Archmage Arch is I can beat him with basically everything, but I'm gonna go with Ilfana. I know, I'm just gonna, yeah, yeah, could be. Oh, Noble Shock, I will keep for sure, Deja Vu also, oh, that's perfect. Come on. What you're gonna do? Double, double shock. That's fine. Oh, <laughs> I triggered race, rage. <laughs> That's crazy. That's very funny. Ilfana <laughs> is gonna strike with a lot of rage. What? <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, easy, 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 man. And now it's the time for the watchmaker to disrupt all these buffs. You don't want to deal with all this buff. He knows Counselor is gonna lose. So he's thinking about Radames or Hammerhead, I guess. Yeah. Let's see it. Maybe. Um, I don't know. With Deja Vu, what can I copy? Opponent Powder? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I prefer Spellbreaker. Okay, not, not a good roll. Okay, I don't know if he's gonna, I think he's gonna win, yeah, he is gonna win. Hammerhead is very strong as for output, so fortunately I can beat Counselor Shia. Cronion should be good. 
against her. I think Radames is too strong. You can't expect to win versus Bat for Hammerhead, he's insane. Yeah, he is. Let's go Cronion. I will absorb his powerful hits. I need a yellow, at least. Oh! That's a bit risky though, since he has his blessing. Yeah, but this blessing is not so much, so maybe... Yeah, I will do this one. That would be... Okay. I don't know. Will I win? Not sure, honestly. Yeah, seems so. Another win. <laughs> I feel like at this level in Bronze League, I almost cannot lose with this Tempus build. Yeah, fight again. I don't, don't understand this tip, to be honest with you. Okay, Brune954R, mixed team. So. I fear Great Duke with Cronion, so I will start with the Watchmaker. Well, and we're out. Okay, so Brave Shock. I don't want him to activate the Brave Shock, but so Deja Vu is not strong. I need to go with Fireballs here. Okay, perfect, GG, easy, easy man, <laughs> that's so strong, okay, and then one, and then two, and then three, and shock is not gonna be brave, sorry, okay. I think the Eternal may be the best one, but if he comes to me with Arkham, okay, Arkham was great for Ilfana. Ooh, also Brave Strength could be interesting to copy. I will go with the Eternal though. Okay, as for Deja Vu goes, Brave Strength, oh, that's a great thing to, to copy, actually. Oh, man, why not? Perfect. Ah, this team is so strong. It's almost... I feel almost bad for them. Now I have three dodges. Yeah. I won and I have three dodges on this. Oh, it's so strong. And now I have Brave Hit with Ilfana. Right, let's go with her. What can I say? My Brave Fireball is going to be massive. Yeah, Arkham. I'm sorry, man, but... Let me see. Backstab. Noble Shock. I want Fireballs. Oh! Well, the double Brave hit is going to be strong. At least one Fireball. Come on! Okay, it's fine. Should be enough to win. First one is strong. Second one is stronger. And the fireball is even stronger, even though he will dodge mine. Um, anyway, okay. There was no way. Another clear win. So if you're looking for something to climb, this team is so strong. And I'm very, very happy with Ilfana. I think she's the perfect addition. I wanted another member of the Tempus at the same level of this four, for a long time, and I, I know I've said Elysia may be the best one, and I still think Elysia is a great pick, just because she's so reliable, she has so massive, massive output, she's perfect. But having such a reliable Deja Vu hero is something else. I still think, I think Lord Tempus is a great addition too, was a great addition too, but I don't know. I like Yofana very much. Yeah, Yohiba Kiao? Oh man, I miss 
this card. I, I don't know if I have him. Seems strong. Sure, I, I'm sure I didn't review him, but okay, Bank One. Now he has a powerful, powerful spell breaker. Hmm. Also heal. Mm, versus priests, so the announcer, of course, not. Yeah, I will go with Cronon and focus on yellows. That should be enough. Also, backstab can be interesting. Okay, maybe a backstab. Perfect. Okay. Just to deal with his strength here. Okay. Okay. GG. My sword phase is just a bit stronger than yours. Just a bit. Easy. Now. Oh. What was his last skill? The, the heal. So I cannot go with the announcer and Ilfana, I will go with the watchmaker. Okay, Ime. It's fine. Perfect. Perfect wall. Then, so he will have two buff heroes that are very strong. Especially she, I feel. So I will sacrifice probably unbuffed cards. I will I will go with Lord Tempus. He will probably attack with Yakiba Tiao here or or she, but I think Yakiba. And I will go with Lord Tempus and lose. But for, oh no, she he has another buffer. Man, you're so screwed. Uh, I'm sorry, man. That's a bad one. Now, the announcer is the best one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, perfect. Yeah, double buffer teams with also the Colossus are so risky. Yeah, yeah. Man. And you went for suicidal buffer also. What did you expect? To me to me to roll all, all, all sorts? Come on. Easy. Okay. Very well. Wanna play again? Yeah, of course. I'm sorry I'm playing just the this team, but I want I want to really I think you can truly understand the power of the deja vu only when they are combined. I said so at the first Tempus release, of the Watchmaker, when I streamed about him, I said, guys, you cannot understand deja vu by himself. You need, where is the challenger? Come on, here it is. You need to see him in context with other deja vu since the mechanic will screw, screw your opponents. So you need to, to really evaluate all the javus together. They work so good. Now we have double the in first skill and double in first skill. That's good. Okay, Galmi. Now, Galmi has a powerful shield and good hits. I think the Watchmaker can win this. Deja vu is fine. Okay, another yellow maybe. Okay, double deja vu. Double deja vu. Yeah, I wanted a yellow or or a red. I think that those are better. Mm, but also, I don't think. I don't know if we're gonna win. I, I don't think so. Let me see. Yeah, no, we're not. Okay, that's fine. I needed another another yellow to win. 
that's fine. Okay, last skill was this that one. So ooh, Lord Xenel, that's very interesting. I've never played him. So I will go with Cronel here. I think this is an interesting team noodle. It's it's a tricky one, but not bad at all. I, I feel like uh, Galmi is a great uh, Colossus. I've always said that, so that's very good. So Cyrmore is good against <laughs> Berserker, he's massive. And also, as interesting mechanics, so I think Cyrmore is a great card. Now Lord Sinel, Sinel. Spellbreaker. I don't like Lord Sinel a lot, to be honest. Okay. Of course, backstab is not useful, but oh, bad roll. Oh, you are destroying me this time. That's fine. Yep. You man, you're gonna kick my ass this time. Hmm. That's very tough. Now, roaster. Hmm. That's a tough one. Now, can I beat him with the eternal? I think so. I need to win and also deliver dodges, otherwise, I will lose badly. Okay, that's a great rule, actually. I will. I don't know. The shock is powerful. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay, can I win? Nope. Very good, Noodle. You spanked me hard. That's how you do it. And I like your team. I think it's strong. It's, I, I think it's actually stronger than the one you used before. It was um, another. Uh, mercenaries team. Gami is very strong. I think Gami is strong. I I really like Cyramor. Yeah, GG man. GG man. That was good. Cyramor also is good. I'm not sure about the other ones. Yeah, Gami and Cyramor are good. Let me see. Let me see the mercenaries. Where are they? Let me see. Let me see. Okay. They, okay. They, Gami is for sure. He is strong and that's fine. And Seymour is very interesting. I really like this concept. And also if you encounter a Berserker, you basically won. And I understand there are a lot of uh, Hammerheads in the meta, so that's fine. Counselor is shy. Yeah, you played before. Mm, I don't like, don't like her, since you don't have multi-hitters. Yeah. Chantelain, no. What about Master Mystic Slayer? I think he is better than Lord Xenilk. Even though, I don't know. It's a good team anyway. Mercenaries don't have a specific buffer, yeah. That's why they kind of suck as a guild. But your team was not bad at all. I don't know. Maybe. Well, anyway, I think it's good. I think Gami and Seymour are very good. Maybe Master Mystic Slayer should should have a chance. Just like I feel you can do maybe a um, anti meta only stand alone and some weak one. Yeah, anti meta Seymour uh, and Master Mystic, Mystic Slayer counter different things. That's interesting. Thorin is too situational. Maybe your roster is good. Yeah, you should maybe try Master Mystic Slayer. But I, what, other than that, I think it's a good team. Solid. I don't understand this team, actually. What? I, I don't know. Oh, now we, we're talking. This is a good team. All sealed, old style, mono zeal. It's not gonna be so easy. To win. Also, I have the Eternal. The Eternal is good for his first two skills, not so good for the third one, since that stair is not gonna work against this crazy 
strength boost. Mm. Yeah. What should I do? I still feel like the Eternal is the best one. And I need to concentrate on blues and that's shock. Okay, that's a good start. Another blue and should be fine. Now, this way is not gonna be strong. If I wear him, I would go for plus strength and just sword. And like that, he should win. Yeah, no, he rolled. Okay. Okay. That's there. Yeah, he will. He will win anyway. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I needed the second blue to have a chance. Now, first skill was the that crazy, crazy, crazy death stare. So I feel like Ilfana can be strong. He can come at me with Carbon, that's for sure. But it's gonna be still gonna be strong. That's death stare. And Fireball, Brave Fireball will be very effective, so, yeah, ooh, against Archmage. Let's go full red. Oh, come on, it's so strong. So oppressive. Look at that. Yep, of course they have double critical now. I don't fear Ntaba so much, but Carbon is a problem. Mm. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, sorry guys. Marlox Golem is so freaking strong, and he's gonna be a problem. I need to to pair Cronion with Marlox Golem. That's for sure. Otherwise, I will I will lose. Now against Carbon. Watchmaker is my only chance. I'm gonna remove his uh, criticals and oh, that's a bad roll. And that could make me win. Oh, I was too greedy. Ah, ah bad, 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 bad decision. I should have kept all the reds. Ah, that was a misplay. Guys, that was an error on my part. Now I'm in danger. And Taba's is strong. I need to go with the announcer, but if he's smart, he's coming at me with Marlux Golem. And he can win. Yeah, and he is smart. Yeah, I think I, I ruined this game with my own hands. That's the rust on my side. Yeah. That's a bad, bad lose. Bad loss. Yeah. I made a few mistakes. That's bad. My streak and here. I'm still very high. I will do the last fight maybe. Okay, no what? What? I, I don't understand these tips. Uh, I really don't. Choose your hero. Mm. A powder team. So I'm gonna need Chronium for later and the announcer. But still, great you can counter Cronion. Yeah, no, I need to, to start with Cronion. Maybe the, the other choice was Ilfana. But I feel like Cronion can secure me a win with Hook. Or lure Great Duke out. Try to master make it. Oh, he's awesome. Yeah, I think so. And in combination with Sycamore, it's interesting. Sycamore counters. Marauders and warriors, and he counters uh, priests and mages. So it's it's a good one. I, I really want to try it. 
Okay. So let me see strength drain, shock. So damage. Well, it's okay. That's fine anyway. Okay. Shock, shock. We can do a last fight. Of course we can. We are <laughs> one one, and we need to decide the winner. Also, I won 3-0 and you won 3-0, so that's a perfect, perfect, um, uh, it's, it's a draw, it's a perfect draw. So, hook, hmm, what's best here? Jezer is dangerous and we need the Watchmaker to counter him. Great Duke, not so much, but the announcer is best. Eliana is good, but I will go with the announcer here. Okay, that's a good rule. Oh, he has a perfect rule. Maybe he can win? Yeah, I think so. If he wins, I'm in trouble. Big trouble. Make it double. Oh, I was a really, <laughs> a really uh, nerdy boy with Pokemon. Okay, no, I won. And okay, now I should be fine. The Eternal will provide me. A win against Jezer and Lokitos, I guess. This is a good seal for Lokitos. I like resilience. Even though I think the best one is uh, Forn for Lokitos, since he has great ruling strength and he suffers from late uh, scarves. But resilience is a good one. Anyway, okay, perfect. Now I need the shock, or it's gonna be tough. Okay, and this way, sorry man, you did a mistake. You made a mistake. You should have used Great Duke, I guess, even though it, it would, uh, would have been uh, tough for him, but better than Jezer. I don't suffer from danger, no, not a bit, with the Eternal. So, I'm ready for the third and last fight with Noodle. Who is gonna win? I will keep using this team. I hope he will keep using his uh, strong and interesting mercenaries team. Maybe you'll be fine. Maybe with Master Mystic. Ooh, I need to be ready. <laughs> but I will not change anything. So here it is, my man Noodle. Let's do this. Okay, he's kept roster, and that's a good choice. Now, see you more. Counters a lot of things, different things. Mm, Galmi is strong. I think I can beat Galmi with the Eternal, maybe. He's, he's coming at me with Bolster. I think the Eternal is the best one. My shock is powerful against him. And yeah, Deja Vu is good, but I want to. Yeah, this is the role I wanted. So I will absorb his fireball. Oh! Man! Noodle is on fire. He really wants wants to beat him, to beat me <laughs> very hard. He really wants that. Oh man, triple fireball. <laughs> uh, GG. Uh, I will send a GG to him. Oh, that's a bad start. <laughs> GG. Where is this? Uh, come on. It was so strong. I will start with Ufana though. Galmi is good, but my Brave Fireball can be very effective against him. Master Mystic Slayer also is very strong, but Ufana will Fireball him. Yeah, he needs to use his Shock at full power if he, want, if he wants to win. Come on, give me a red. Nope. So, I will go with this one. Okay, that's a good roll. Let me see. Oh man! 
Ah, Noodle is so strong, guys. I cannot win against him. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> GG. Ah, you play me. You love lose. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> oh, come on. How can I win against someone this strong? So, Lord Sinok. Okay. Lord Sinok. Mm. A lot of shield. Speedbreaker is strong. I think the Watchmaker can be good. Okay, okay, that's a good roll. Let's go. Mm. Let's hope he's spell break. No, okay. He disrupted that. He disrupted everything. But I'm in, in a good spot, okay? I will win. I'm still in the game, guys. I still am. Okay. Now I have a, a strong follow-up with the announcer copying the powerful damage uh, boost by Xenok. So I think I can win with the announcer now. Oops, oh wait. I think maybe Ceramore is the correct. I don't know. Since Galmi can be strong against Chromion. And Ceramor, yeah, I think Ceramor is the best. No. Okay. Wild Blue, play. Okay. Shock 400, this is Might, so 500. Okay, that's fine. Okay. He has a perfect roll. Oh! All, all blues becomes okay. Okay, but I'm very strong here. Too strong. The buff from Xenon was too much. Okay. Okay, and now. Ah! Uh, that's the. Hmm. Okay, I have, I have double dodge. That's good. That's good. Mm. That's an interesting call. I think I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. Oh. So, I think I won. Yeah. It was a great, great game, this one. Very good, very strategic. I managed to win even against the powerful. So, I have to say, I really love the combination of Master Mystic's layer together with Ceramorph. I think together they are amazing. Also, a roster is always good. It's good. I, the only one I don't like so much is Xenok, but I think this team is quite strong. Yeah. GG Man, anyway, it was a great, great game. Okay, guys. So, I will close this stream here. Um, as for Ilfana, I think she is amazing. And I think if you want to play Tempus, you need to have her. Um, when, uh, let's resume Tempus for a minute. Where are they? Okay. Uh, when Elysia uh, entered the arena, I said um, I was disappointed with her uh, at first glance, but then I, I changed my mind since she's so reliable, um, so strong in her performance, and she has a great, great output. So, and I still feel feel that's um, true, and Elisa is very good. But I think, I really think, Ilfana is the perfect addition to Tempus. She is as consistent as um, Elisa was, but she. She has that counter mechanics in Fireball and that Deja Vu in first skill that's so synergic with the rest of the guild. I think she's more, um, may maybe less strong than Lord Tempus, but more reliable than he is. And in a team that's very um, 
tied to your opponent's uh, performance, you want consistency. So I feel like Lord Tempus is too situational to be played together with other free Tempus guys. Maybe you can play Lord Tempus instead of the announcer if you want to, but I feel like the announcer is a powerful card, a uh, really tricky one. So I feel this is the perfect, perfect team for Tempus and it's so strong. I, I basically, in this stream, in ladder here in, in leagues, I I've always, I lost just one game, and if you remember correctly, it was my fault. Okay, this one with Sensin, it was my fault. I made mistakes and I lost. But I feel like I could have won if I played correctly. And then I lost one uh, game with Noodle that spanked me very hard. But I won one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 wins, 2 losses, and one of the 2 losses was a misplay. So, it's, it's so strong, very strong. So I really, really recommend you uh, find Ilfana in the chest, go out and play, and definitely add her in your tempo team. Guys, we will see each other on Monday for the Monday release of next week. As for today and this weekend, AC is out. Bye, guys.